Well, hello everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we are going to be touring my level 100 pocket camp campsite. And as you can see, I'm actually at level 103, but this idea just came to my mind when I passed level 100. Yes, I am still very much addicted to pocket camp. I cannot help it. It is just something about these games like collecting aspect that is really talking to the collector in my heart <laughs> but yeah today i thought it would be kind of fun to see what i've been up to here on my second pocket camp if you have been following my little pocket camp mini series here on the channel you know that we kind of started a new campsite some time ago and that one I obviously play on my iPad and this is the pocket camp that I've been playing for almost a year now, I think. I don't really remember when I started to play like very often because I did start anyways. Anyways, <laughs> not the point. This is my other pocket camp. This is kind of like my proper pocket camp that I've been playing pretty much every day. I'm very, very addicted to pocket camp. What can I say? So let's see what I've been up to, how my pocket camp campsite and cabin looks like. Obviously, there is going to be a bit of a spoiler situation here because there are some things that we didn't really unlock in our little gameplay that we've been doing over on the other camp but anyways let's get to touring shall we so let's go to my campsite and see how I've decorated it and I'm also gonna show you my villagers and also my cabin and the cabin aspect obviously it's something that we didn't go through in our little let's play yet but yeah I hope you guys are excited let's see what I've been up to here so okay all of the pop-up windows are here again let me just close these up so it's not so distracting while I play. And we leveled up to 104 while we were doing this. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly chat with everyone, close these uh, floating bubbles that we have here, and then we're gonna tour the campsite. Okay, alrighties, I have chatted with everyone that had something to say to us around the camp because otherwise we would have this like thought bubble hanging above the screen the whole time. So let's get to touring now and let me show you what I've been up to here. As you can see, I have this bit of a bamboo theme going on with the background and everything, but I'm kind of over it and I want to change the background of the pocket of my uh, campsite. We'll see when I can actually afford that. I'm kind of in the middle of collecting the leaf tickets for that. But yeah, over here, the space is a bit empty, but I don't think you can place like literally anything in this corner where your camper is, which is a bit of a bummer because it does look really empty here. But over to this direction, we have this cute little tent situation going on. My campsite is kind of messy. I used to have like a bit of a bamboo forest going on here, but I just recently changed it. And yeah, I have this cute little food truck here with some tables. So this is kind of like the food truck area in the middle. I know that the cobblestone carpet looks a bit odd here, but honestly, without it, this area looks kind of empty as well. There isn't any like pathing in pocket camp and no like small carpets that you can use for like these type of stones. So it doesn't look perfect, but for me it's enough. It's at least filling some space here. And yeah, to the right, actually, let's go this way. This is my favorite part of my camp. I have this little cafe. Obviously, it's a cafe. <laughs> um, yeah, I have this small little cafe going on here. I think this is Bo's furniture set, and it's also the matching. And I'm also wearing the matching outfit for it. And I just love it. I think it's a very small detail here, but I really like the way this turned out. And then I have this little dining area next to it. I think this is probably my favorite area of the campsite. I'm really happy with this situation here, but more towards the left, I'm still not sure what I want to do here. I think I want to change some things up. Also here in the left side corner, Hopkins is enjoying this little hammock moment. And I think this was from last month's event and the items are just gorgeous. Like the items in Pocket Camp, beautiful, just so beautiful. 
And yeah, I think that's why I'm so addicted to Pocket Camp because I feel like I need to just collect all of the items every month. So where were we? Oh yeah, also I just invited most of our Southern Hemisphere Tropical Island gang to my campsite. I usually don't have them around the campsite here, but for the sake of this video, I thought it would be cute to invite as many of them as I have in Pocket Camp to visit. So yeah, we have Pate, Hopkins, Bancho, Fuja, June, Annalise, Audie, and of course Philbert, because Philbert is my Pocket Camp baby. I think I mentioned that in one of the Pocket Camp videos. <laughs> Um, anyways, over here we have a little seating area and then to the left side. Also, one of my favorite items in the game is this like, uh, bonfire? No, campfire? <laughs> campfire situation here. I really wish this item would be New Horizons. It would be just perfect for my, um, Northern Hemisphere Island. I love that so much. But anyways, I think that is it for my little campsite here. Let's move on to the cabin. Which kind of is my pride and joy. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are. This is the first floor of my cabin. And this floor is probably my favorite things in Pocket Camp ever. I think I also mentioned this in maybe the first video, but this strawberry set is my favorite, favorite set in the game. And I'm really proud of this area over here. I have almost all of the items for the set, which is amazing. <laughs> that never literally happens. And yeah, I just really like the way this set looks like. And I think this is my most complete room slash campsite thing here in Pocket Camp. And yeah, I really like the way this looks. As you can see, all the villagers are also enjoying all the items. I love how they interact with them. It's just so adorable. And yeah, it's kind of a random set of villagers here in the cabin. It's mostly the Sanrio characters, actually, because I don't have a still, I don't have the amiibo cards for the Sanrio characters. So the only place I can have them is Pocket Camp, as you can see here. And then I have some of the old villagers that used to be on my northern hemisphere island like Bo and Merang and obviously Marshall he's just too cute and I just recently invited Zell to the cabin just for the fun of it just to mix things up right let's go upstairs and I will show you the last room my camper also has some items but I think the camper is so small that you can't really design anything too crazy there so I'm not gonna show it in this video there's like literally nothing there but yeah up here we have a bit of a shoe slash accessory shop moment going on this is also the items from one event I don't think it was last month or maybe it was I don't really remember but anyways I think they were just really cute and all of them match really well together so this is what I've been up to up here okay we are back to one of the locations in the game because as you can see here june is my camp caretaker and yeah i think it's just super cute that we have the matching outfits so i just want her to be here for <laughs> for the end of the video right so those are my campsite and my cabin what do you guys think and let me know in the comments what kind of themes have you been working on around your pocket camp or let me know maybe if this video inspires you to begin your pocket camp life if you haven't started it yet. There is so much opportunities in this game. As you can see, the items are pretty great. So there are so many options of things that you can do around your cabin and campsite decorating wise. So I hope this kind of inspired you maybe. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Maybe we could even tour some of your campsites in a future video or something like that. So make sure that you join our Discord server. Maybe you can post some photos from your campsite or let me know if you want me to come and tour your campsite. See what other people are up to. There are like honestly so many different themes that you can do with Pocket Camp. So it would be kind of interesting to maybe see what you guys have been up to. But anyways, that is it for me. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some pocket camp action maybe in the future as well. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!